Hello everyone, my name is TinyTig100 and I'm going to be showing you Tiny Announcements. This is a plugin I created just to simplify the announcement process. I was looking for announcing plugins and I couldn't really find any for 1.16, so I made one myself. And this is a little showcase on what you can do and how to use it. So, as you can see in chat, it's kind of spamming the same thing. I'm currently using a very low delay just for testing and showing purposes. If we do slash tiny a help, it'll bring up all the list of commands. Uh, there's two different aliases you can use. You can do tiny a or tiny announcements, one of the two. All these different commands do different things. Tiny a reload, uh, all this is really going to do is reload your config for the text it shows. It doesn't reload any of the other settings that usually requires a server restart. Tiny a list, if we do that, we'll give a list of any sections that you have created currently in this config since it's fresh, I only have one. You can get info for whatever section. So if you do tiny a info one, it'll give you the info of that current one. We can edit them so we can add lines. So we'll add a line of we'll do hello world put that in it'll display the new list and in the next one it'll show then if you want to remove that line do tiny a edit one remove line one actually not three there we go now it's gone then if we add it back and want to change that line we can use edit edit line and the message you want so it'll be tiny a edit one edit line three to say there we go and now it'll update and the next time it shows it'll come up so that's how you can edit them now let's say you want to create a new announcement so it's not just the same one over and over again you can do tiny a create and then we'll do uh hello people there we go it'll always make a second line that says edit me so if we do tiny a edit to edit line two and we'll change that to good morning there you go and now when the announcements show it'll go between this one and the other one give it a second just like that and then if we want to delete one, so say we don't want the one we just created, we can delete a section. And we'll do section two. Oh, doesn't like that. Okay, so if we do section one. There we go. Now that one's deleted. The next commands are toggling. This is only enabled if you have toggle enabled on inside the config. I'll show you that in a second. But all this does is make it so once you toggle it, you will not see the announcements anymore. This is good for if you want announcements just to be there for the players who want it. You can disable this in the config so no one can actually toggle it and they'll always be on for everybody. Then you can do it again. And the only difference in this command is you can do announcements toggle instead rather than tiny or tiny announcements. So let's move on to the config. So inside the plugins folder, inside tiny announcements, there are two YMLs that are made, config and toggle. Toggle, all this does is you have your allow toggle. If you change this to false, no one can toggle it. If you keep it on true, you can. And these right here are player data. So it just depends on who the player is. And then it says toggled or not. So this is just for the plugin to figure out who's toggled and who hasn't. This one's the one that you actually want to change. After that, inside the config, if we look in here, this is the prefix. 
So it's the first line that is always put there unless you do the disabled prefix. You can change this to whatever you want it to be. You can make it your server name or whatever. Then if you want to disable it, all you got to do is type true here. And that'll make it so this line is not attached to the messages. Randomize will randomize between all the different announcements you have. I always leave it on false, which will make it go from one to two to three to four and so on. And then back up to one. Randomize will make it so it goes two, one, seven, five, that kind of stuff. Delay is how many ticks it takes before the message is shown. Currently, this is set to 10 seconds, which is 200 ticks. Next is center text, which is a feature I added into the plugin that allows the text to be centered on your chat. If you want to disable this, you can. If you want to leave it on, just leave it as true. Next is your announcements. This is the list of all your different announcements that you have and what is there. So if you want to edit inside the YML rather than being in game, all you have to do is add a new one. Make sure you change the number to something like two and then change it to be something like that. And then if we save, go back in game and do tiny a reload. I reload it and there you go now you have your next line there we go super simple plugin super simple tutorial but it's very easy to set up and use and is very customizable to your liking so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any suggestions please leave them down below and if you have any questions about the plugin feel free to ask and i'll get back to you when i can thank you all for watching and have a good one